All right, we're back in Assetto Corsa to do what we do best, go on a nice long drive. Um, I've done a lot of good Japanese hill climbs, but all of them have been relatively short. And while I've enjoyed them immensely, it's just, it's like popping an M&M. You, you can't have just one. And um, I'd like a nice uh, long drive again, and uh, I don't want to redo any of the ones I've already recorded recently. So went looking for a longer route um, that's relatively new and found Aurora National Park in uh, Sydney, Australia area. And I uh, thought, hey, that looks kind of nice. Um, downside is it says it's tr uh, AI enabled and uh, I tested it out at least with uh, the uh, custom shader patch AI and uh, AI wasn't working. Um, it did not show as a yes for um, the two real traffic mod. So I didn't try that, um, but I don't know that it's worth it if it said it's uh, not supporting that. So I'm gonna drive this without AI. Um, it is um, a nice little loop. Let's go ahead and come up here and take a look at the broader map just to kind of see what is up here. I like, I like it when uh, map authors do this. They give us a nice little map that kind of shows us, okay, here's where we're starting, which is the little uh, red pin um, with the uh, circle icon. And then we got all sorts of interesting sites along the way. Um, that we can check out and uh, and view, including the city, um, some horse stables, workshop, mansion, arena, fast food, park, a uh, car park. Um, so let's go around. I think we're set up here to go off to the right, um, but I'm going to be different and going to go off to the left. Without traffic. Hey, there's a McDonald's. Anybody want an Egg McMuffin? It's uh, 9.35 in the morning here in Australia. Kind of gloomy skies. It is live weather, so that's real. And a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Guess it's kitchen fresh chicken. I guess that's what they try to tell people, but it, it's been Kentucky Fried Chicken in my mind for a really long time, so. Got kind of confused there. Is this a roundabout? Or just a pure and simple left-hand turn? Okay. Roundabouts confuse me anyway, so... <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, been enjoying the Japanese drives, but, uh... I figured a little bit of a break, a little bit of a longer break, uh, with something with a little bit more meat on it. Um, it is technically a circuit um, in that it kind of is a closed loop upon itself, but it is uh, 40 kilometers of road and some interesting turns through, you know, some residential and uh, some other areas. So seems like fun. knocked off work a little bit early today. It's been a week of early meetings, early calls, and uh, have another week next week like that. Uh, my Monday starts with a 5 a.m. call. Oh. We're taking a little bit uh, of an early exit out of the day. Uh, to drive and and I'll be honest, this is a procrastination drive. Uh, I wanted to do something in a setup course, uh, mostly because I don't want to do what I should be doing, which is preparing for uh, 
the uh, oof. the Champion Motorsports uh, iRacing Team Endurance Series as race one at Road America on Sunday, Sunday morning. Rob and I will be driving. And, uh, I haven't done any practice on that track in the car that we're driving, which is the uh, Porsche 963 GTP. Dang. Didn't hit hard. Wow. It's quite the treacherous little road over here. Like I lit up my airbag. Uh. Morning light with that hit. Anyway, yeah, so should be practicing for that race, um, but I'm just... Road America just tires me. I don't know why. I don't... I know this is sacrilege for somebody that is in the U.S. and is, uh, considers themselves to be a race fan, but I don't particularly like Road America. It's just a track that doesn't jibe with me. It never been fast there. And I've driven it. I've driven competitive events there, and, you know. Some league races and some um, official races in iRacing. And uh, yeah, I just never really enjoy my races there. And don't really enjoy practicing there either. Uh, that's the other thing too. I mean, it, the tracks that I tend to be fast at are ones that I've really enjoyed my practice time on and uh, driving them over and over and over again and learning little bits of, you know, things that I can do to squeeze more speed out of the car. And uh, if you don't like a track or you don't enjoy driving it, it's hard to get that level of rhythm and uh, deep level of insight into uh, how you can make the car and, and your performance better um, as a result of, of practice. Practice is one of those things that you, you can't just drive. You have to drive with some intent, um, trying to learn something, um, practicing a particular aspect of the track. Um, one of the things that I've practiced a lot um, in recent endurance race uh, prep is uh, just fuel savings. And traffic management. Um, driving a prototype, uh, traffic management is an entirely different discipline than it is uh, if you're driving a GT3 car, for instance. Um, and I, I will admit that I think it's easier in the prototype to manage traffic because you have all the power. You're you're typically faster than the cars that you're coming up on. Um, unless you're being lapped by somebody in your own class because they're, you know, an alien or just super fast, better than you. Um, unlike uh, driving in the GT3 class, you're oftentimes confronted with people that lack skill and sense but are in a car that is faster than yours, and but you still have to deal with them. And... Uh, there's less of that in, uh, in the prototype car if you're driving it. Of course, that also means that I'm probably one of those guys with less skill that other people are having to deal with. <laughs> but I 
this a roundabout? I guess it is. I guess that technically is a roundabout. Interesting. really pretty map. Yeah, that was almost inevitable. Just popped a little bit.
This is a nice drive. requires a little bit of concentration though. Little marina action over there and turn or not there were there was like a fork in that road but I'm not sure a great map though. So I'm taking the right.
am I going? I'm going to the right, I guess. I love these bigger maps. Get a sense of scale and it doesn't feel like such a race to get where you're going because you have a long time to get there. The hill climbs tend to invite like trying to really push and uh Although, these maps can sometimes just jump out and surprise you, <laughs> which is <laughs> never fun. I hate it when I scratch the car, or worse. now, I guess. I assume that that's what that is. that I started over here somewhere, right? Is it over here in the Coles parking lot? No. Was it here in this gas station? No, it wasn't in this gas station, I don't think. And yeah, maybe it was. Well, anyway, um, we did go almost completely around, if not completely around. Um, that is um, Sydney, Australia area. Um, what did we call it? Uh, uh, Barara Valley National Park. B-E-R-O-W-R-A, Valley National Park. Um, I'll put a link to the map. Um, it is on a set of world um, where we've been finding a lot of really good maps. So, um, fun drive. Um, definitely some uh, interesting road on which to uh, maybe do a little racing or a little uh, team driving or, or group driving. But uh, fun drive regardless. 
uh, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you for joining me, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Spaß machen, Rennsport.